Jerry Lee Smith, as most everybody knows, was the first American to cross the Rockies, right, over into California, and which he actually did twice. They went down into Mexico and California with the idea that they were going to trade their furs for horses, bring the horses up the coast, take them clear up to Fort Vancouver, where they were going to sell them to Hudson Bay Company for great profits, because there weren't enough horses here. And so they had lots of tribulations there, and he was thrown in jail by the Mexicans who didn't trust him, of course, and they let him out. And this went on and on back and forth. And they finally said, okay, you can leave, but don't do any trapping in our Mexican area. And so they took off from down by Sacramento with this huge herd of horses, came all the way up the California coast in a phenomenally difficult trip. Here they were with their herds of horses and more furs right there at the mouth of the Umpqua. And they found out from some Indians there that they were only a day or two's travel from the Willamette, the Willamette. So they had done it. So that morning, Smith and a couple of his guys got in the canoe and went up the Umpqua River to see where's the best way to get up the Umpqua. And while he was up there, of course, the Indians, the Kalawatsit, Lower Umpqua Indians, were very furious at this group of whites because evidently uh, they had tied up one of the Indian chiefs and whipped him over the loss of an axe or something. And, and of course, Smith had said, whatever you do, don't let the Indians into your camp. Keep them outside. Instead, the idiots went ahead and they, they were cleaning their guns. They didn't even have their guns out. They let the Indians come in. Some, something happened, and all of a sudden the Indians jumped them and wiped out most of them. So then by the time Jedediah Smith comes back down the river, they find out their other friends were, were gone, and they had to run like hell to get out of it. They almost got caught. So then Smith runs naked all the way up the Oregon coast, basically a Tillamook ride, and then they come across over to Fort Vancouver, where, as we all know, Dr. McLaughlin, even though he was supposed to keep Americans out, was so charitable, was such a good Christian gentleman, that he offered to help out. And the way he offered to help out was to send Jedediah Smith back down under the leadership of his best trapper, Alexander Roderick McLeod. Okay, so they head down from Fort Vancouver. And I think Jedediah Smith and Alexander McLeod just must have gone along famously because they're both brilliant explorers. They must have exchanged information back and forth. Now, McLeod had been down through here two years before with David Douglas, so he already knew this trail pretty well. McLaughlin had told Alexander McLeod, do the best you can. You'll be the man on the scene. I won't second guess you. I will support whatever you feel you have to do, so just go do the right thing. And of course, McLeod had such a good time hanging out with Jedediah Smith that they spent way more time than McLaughlin had expected. And so then when they finally got back up to Fort Vancouver, unfortunately, Simpson, who was the overall Hudson Bay leader, found out that McLaughlin had sent his best trapper down to help out the Americans. And so he was furious with McLaughlin, which therefore put McLaughlin in the position. He was going to have to be critical then of Alexander McLeod for staying too long, even though he told him to do whatever he wanted to do. And from then on, McLeod was in kind of bad repute, and eventually, because of this incident, he was booted out of Fort Vancouver and sent north. And I've always felt, since clearly he followed McLaughlin's directions on do what you feel, you, it's absolutely unfair that McLeod was treated this way. And I often read, often I read about McLeod, they'll talk about the hapless McLeod. And the only hapless thing he did was take too long with Jedediah Smith helping this American recover his furs. And I don't call that hapless, I call that dedicated. See, so that, that's my take on the Jedediah Smith, Alexander McLeod trip.